Good morning. This is Bill from Monte Europa Naples, and today I have this gorgeous SL Roadster. This is a 1996 SL 500 in a terrific color combination. Uh, it's been extremely well preserved, just 58,000 miles on the clock. Uh, you can see it's a gorgeous car, beautiful, beautiful colors that sort of uh, signal red with the satin leather inside. Uh, chrome wheels, all factory, uh, just a beautifully well-kept, well-maintained car from one of our long-term service customers. This car has had terrific maintenance over the years. Uh, you can see it's immaculate all around. There's the SL500 badging on the back. Very, very clean and original, lovely, uh, straight and smooth down the sides. Uh, I've got the top down this morning, so it's nice and cool. You can see the factory windscreen is in place. And uh, all around the car is just absolutely gorgeous to look at. And let's look at it a little more in depth. We'll go inside the trunk. I'm fighting the mist this morning. You can see it just drives me nuts. Put my initials in it. Uh, you just can't uh, get it to stop doing that. Try as you might, the laws of nature fight you to death. All right, inside the trunk, lovely color, very lightly used. You can see the original mats are there. Keep in mind, these things are going on 30 years old now, so you can tell the condition of the car based on how nice those factory mats are. We've got a CD changer over there, the factory Benz unit. Uh, the windscreen, when not deployed, would be behind this guy here. Nice to see it still there. And everything is very proper in the trunk. Underneath the panel here, you'd find the spare tire and the battery. Uh, this is the factory windscreen for the car. It's still there, uh, properly bolted to the adjustable roll bar, as you will. I should, adjustable is a dumb word. Uh, this roll bar is a very cool feature. What happens is, uh, in the event of calamity, this thing will... Uh, come shooting up like an airbag and give you rollover protection. Uh, you can also remove the screen, raise and lower it manually. Some guys do that for a stylistic approach. Uh, you know, looks nice. I like it down, but whatever blows your skirt up. I'm going to leave the windscreen deployed just because that's the look I like. I love this big chunky chrome handle. There you can get back to behind the seats. Everything nice back there. There's your Bose subwoofer. Very, very proper. On the other side, you have a little storage compartment, and uh, it's just a very well kept, very nicely appointed car. Let's have a look at this guy. What surprises await? Nah, just a nice big storage compartment there. Nah. Doing anything one handed is tough. Okay, well, you know, you have dirty minds, some of you. Uh, let me look under the hood. I'm going to look in there. And see what we got. Now this thing was a revolution. That is a four cam 32 valve B, uh, V8 putting out about 315 horsepower. Mercedes later detuned it for gas mileage and emissions reasons. Uh, you know, some people like the newer motor. I like this one. This thing is a rocket ship. A big screaming V8 motor that was all about performance and reliability. And uh, you know, they didn't give two craps about the earth. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there's some environmental stuff on there. Uh, I love the wipers on the headlights as well. Uh, very, very cool sort of uh, 80s, 90s look you just don't see anymore. And you can see under the hood, everything is just absolutely lovely. New hood sponge was installed by the guy not terribly long ago. And uh, everything nice and proper under there. And when you're opening the hood, the release is right under the star. So keep that in mind, you... 129 guys all right look at that beautiful satin leather this is a very rare interior color you just don't see it that often and it's a shame really contrasts beautifully with the red you see the lovely burl inserts in the doors it's got side airbags over leather stitched uh, panels it's got a beautiful leather steering wheel uh, you know the burl wood continues all around the dash it's just absolutely gorgeous of course SLs were very expensive cars and uh, appointed as such so Let's hop in. Fire that big V8 to life. All right, you can see it fires right up. Very, very nice. Got our seatbelt on. You see just 58,000 miles on the clock. Very, very low miles for the car. Doors close with a nice thud. Let me put my windscreen back down and run the top so you can see that. Now, when this top came out, it was a revolution. I mean, it would draw a crowd. 
you know, the way that it operated. Uh, you know, a bunch of hydraulic cylinders operated. Uh, it's very dramatic to look at. And let that click down there. Down comes the back. And down comes the top. Now, you know, by today's standards, it's fairly normal and uh, frankly even a little bit violent. You know, it makes some incredible sounds even when it's working just perfectly. But uh, it is fast and it is very, very cool to this day still. So let's put it down again. Let me see if it comes up in the back. Up comes your release. Those guys bang. They bang, but man, they open. But that's, of course, how hard that top is being held down uh, to keep wind noise down and inclement weather out. Put our windows back down, and uh, everything is nice and proper and good to go. So again, it is a V8 SL Roadster. Now, you know, what that means is a few different things. Uh, one is that it's sure to be a collectible because these SLs always become collectibles. Uh, what they do is they depreciate rapidly from new uh, to shocking to the uninitiated. And uh, they hover down low for a while and then they start coming back up. Uh, the generation before this one, there was a while when you could pick one up pretty cheap. Now they're through the roof and uh, the result is that it's starting to happen to this generation as well. So very good. But R129s are going up in value and uh, you know they could explode at any time they'll certainly keep climbing and that's just the way SLs work now this one was kind of the first SL uh, supercar if you will I mean it's you know very very advanced modern uh, big V8 under the hood plenty of power uh, you know, it had all kinds of safety and performance features uh, that just weren't on the earlier models. This thing was designed to be, uh, you know, cutting edge. Uh, now, it is bulletproof reliable. That's a nice thing. Engine, transmission, rear end, you can't go wrong. Uh, you know, the tops work really well, and they are an absolute joy to drive down the road. And if you want power, it's got plenty of that. <laughs> I don't want to scare this guy in the transit van. But I can tell you that big 4-cam V8 absolutely explodes when you hammer it. So, uh, look, if you have an interest in this terrific car, give us a call. 239-649-7300 uh, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. And we'll see you with the next one. Take care.